The good news is that strengthening your pelvic floor muscles is easy and can be done through a variety of exercises and stretches at home. This simple standing pelvic floor workout allows you to relax and strengthen your deep pelvic floor muscles for better sex and better health. The best part is that it only takes six minutes and it's all done standing up. I do recommend using a Pilates mini ball or small pillow for this routine, as using it can provide tactile feedback on the muscles you want to engage. Consistency with this video is key for best results. Aim to incorporate this workout into your schedule multiple times per week. Actually, I want you to try using this routine three to four times a week for a month and then report back on what benefits you experience below in the comments. Are you ready to try it? Grab a Pilates mini ball or a pillow and let's squeeze this video into your life for better pelvic floor health and better sex. Are you ready for this pelvic floor workout? Grab your Pilates mini ball or your pillow and meet me in your exercise space. For each move, we're performing it for 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of transitions between exercises. The first move, you're going to place the Pilates mini ball or pillow between your knees, squeeze in on it, gently. From here, hinge forward to your hips and place your hands on your thighs. We're going into a standing cat cow. Round your back and bring your chin in towards your chest pulling your abs in, and then slowly arch your back, sending your tailbone up and send your heart towards the sky, head lifts. Let's try that again. Round in, abs in nice and tight. Find a C curve in your spine. And then from there, arch your back, chest lifts, chin up towards the ceiling. Now, every time you practice this video, you'll know that you have 45 seconds to move with the exercise. So remember, it doesn't matter how many reps you get in the time allotted, just focus on what you feel and relax. And those muscles that we're really trying to work all around here. Next move, ball can go down, ballet feet, feet together, toes apart. All I want you to do is squeeze your glutes as if you're trying to stop the passing of gas and zip up through your core muscles. Ballet feet here. You can squeeze and release or choose to hold the squeeze for 45 seconds total. Totally up to you. Think about your ballet muscles. I'm a ex-ballerina here. We're pulling in and up. Everything's tightening through the middle. And you're standing so tall like a prima ballerina or ballerino. <laughs> How you feeling? Good. Keep squeezing or squeezing and releasing. Your choice. Have to add the ballet arms. Okay, relax. Well done. Next, you're going into pigeon feet. So I want you to bring your feet, your toes together, your heels apart. And for this move, instead of thinking about stopping the flow of, of gas, you're going to think about stopping the flow of urine. So you're going to pull up in those deep inner pelvic floor muscles and either isometrically hold for 45 seconds or squeeze up, stop the flow of urine and release. Now, this can be so helpful for a variety of different reasons. So whatever purpose and goal brings you here today, I just wanna say I'm so grateful that you're joining me today for these simple moves. Now, when you're first doing this, it might not really make much sense. So take the time to practice and think about really stopping yourself from peeing your pants, basically. <laughs> hey, let's laugh because laughing also engages your pelvic floor muscles, doesn't it? Okay, well done. Next, let's return to our pillow or our ball and place it back in between our knees. From here, we're going to do an isometric squeeze. So you're just going to hold the ball or pillow between your knees, shoulders down and back, and using both the front and the back, you're going to gently push in on the ball. Now, the ball is great because it's squishy and the pillow might not be as beneficial of a prop. So if you do have a few bucks to get one of these, I can really feel both my front and back squeezing in. And again, stopping the passing of gas or the flow of urine, thinking about pulling up and pressing in. Now we're trying to hold this for 45 seconds, but if that's too much, you can hold and relax. Just 
to listen to your body and do what's best for you today. How are we feeling? We only have a few more moves to go. Keep squeezing up. Remember with a lot of pelvic floor strengthening exercises, it's very subtle. So don't feel like it needs to be this big effort. Just listen to your body, breathe and squeeze. Next move is a standing good morning with the ball. So hands at your hips, shoulders down and back, squeeze in on that ball. And from here, hips go back, chest comes forward, and then lift up to a standing position, squeezing in and up. Good, inhale down, exhale up. Now as you hinge your hips, you wanna think about stretching your hamstrings, but as you lift up, you're really thinking about squeezing in, hugging in on that ball, stopping the flowing of urine or the passing of gas. If you don't have a ball today and you're just doing this body weight, you can still do this quite well. So move with your body, think about the muscles you're really trying to work and keep breathing. Hip hinging down and back up. Excellent, we have one more move in the standing pelvic floor workout. Take your hands together, create tension by pressing them to each other, hinge forward to that good morning position, squeeze in on the ball and pull your abs in tight. From here, all you're going to do is take your arms side to side like you're whisking something. So whisking a stronger pelvic floor. Now, you should feel your abs working. You should also feel your inner thighs working and your glutes working to stabilize you. This is amazing. Whew, keep that spine nice and long. Smiling is very advanced. Don't forget, stay with it. Oh my goodness. Hold on tight. Doing good, my friend. <sighs> Only a few more seconds to go. Keep that spine long. Keep your tummy tight. Whew. Oh my goodness. Take a break if you need to. We're almost there and relax. Stand up, remove the ball, and you, my friend, have just successfully completed a six minute standing pelvic floor workout for healthier, happier life. Now, I wanna hear from you. Did you feel this workout? What are the results that you're experiencing? Comment below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out me at carolinejordanfitness.com for so much more. Thank you for joining me. I'm sending you and your pelvic floor a lot of good energy, and I can't wait to see you again soon.